dig firm JCB has been hit by hard times recently, having had to cut over 600 jobs in the Staffordshire region alone. That said, there will be no further job losses at this site in Utoxeter. The hundreds of workers who did work here have been moved to a new site in Beamhurst, just two miles down the road. But first it was time to say goodbye to the old factory in Hockley Road, which has been demolished after 140 years of service to the area. John Gill, who is managing director of the Heavy Products Factory in Utoxeter, explained why they decided to move. Yes, yeah, so basically this, this is a very um, limited site uh, for, from an expansion point of view. Uh, we needed more, more volume, more capacity, so we decided several years ago to build a new factory with more capacity. Many respected people from Utoxta and JCB turned up to watch the ceremony, including Utoxta's mayor, councillor Pauline Morrison. Also attending was Delia Bond, a recently retired third generation employee of the company. She had close ties to the factory but accepts it's time for change. Uh, you can't stand in the way of progress and hopefully, which I'm sure it will be far better for the town. But yes, I am sad to see it go. Sir Anthony Bamford, the chairman of JCB, gave a speech to commemorate the event in which he spoke of JCB's legacy and continued commitment to the environment. And I mean what I've said in the past, JCB will, will leave a lasting legacy when we vacate the site. Your talk is very close to my heart because it is the town where my family has long been associated with uh, for so long, for you know, almost 200 years, it's, it's quite a long time to have been in business in this area. Sir Bamford then proceeded to commence the demolition, rather ironically using a 30-ton demolition excavator which had been made at the factory it was now tearing down. And so while this factory has been reduced to rubble, it would seem that JCB's links to Utoxta remain unwavering. John Gilmore, Staffs News.